What up guys, Amy here. This is going to be for your glutes and just to assist with your overall squat and biomechanics for that position. We wanna make sure that we can get the glutes active as we do this abduction as well as external rotation. And so what we're gonna focus on here is first just your squat. So coming in a nice squ standard squat stance. My feet are planted a little bit wider than my hips, but wherever is comfortable for you, you can stand there. So I'm not taking the band just yet. What I'm gonna do is press my knees open slightly. So this motion here starts to activate the glutes through that slight external rotation. Now, as I do that, you see my feet are still planted into the ground, so I'm not rolling to the outsides of my feet. It has nothing to do with my limb below my knee. It's all from my hip to my knee. So it's a slight quarter squat with a knee external rotation, glute external rotation. Now from there, we're gonna try to come down into a full squat position. So I first start with my hips sinking back, almost like I'm sitting back into a chair. As I push my glutes back, I'm gonna still again externally rotate at my, my hip and my knees, and then I'm gonna come down into my squat position, stand back tall. Now the whole point of this, again, is to get those hips to come back, our glutes to activate with this external rotation. So if I come super far forward in my squat position, it's gonna be more quad dominant, and again, we're trying to activate those glutes. So I come back first, I open my knees out, I keep my chest lifted, heels planted on the ground, wherever your range of motion comfort zone is, you can hold there, and then stand back up. Now we wanna focus on the stand up part. We want to make sure that as we come back into that same position and range of motion, that we're not letting the knees now roll in to stand up. That's a sign of a weak glute need. So we want the whole time to be this conscious contraction, this external rotation. We sink back and we hold that as we come back up. And that is where the band will now come into play because sometimes it's hard for us to keep that mindful connection as we're going through an exercise. So having something like a band that has a heavy resistance can help us to keep pressing out so that we don't collapse in. So take that band around your upper thighs and above the knee, and then we're gonna come down again into that squat position, pressing into the band the whole time I sink into my squat position. Weight is through my full foot, but my heel is still on the ground, and I keep pressing out into the band as I stand back tall. So it's out, down, keep pressing out to stand. Now, if that's really challenging for you, you can start with just a quarter squat and taking some steps right to left. So I'm moving with this right glute if I come to my right side, and you see I'm never letting my knees roll in. I keep that external rotation as I sidestep. So these little abduction walks are really good to get that glute to fire and activate because again, glutes do external rotation. Whew. That'll take you out, so try those out for that glute activation. Once those are solid, we can start to move to a single leg. So your next exercise would be to take that foot behind you. This D is still going to open in this external rotation. So I hold this start stance and then I can step my foot back and forward. And I start really, really light and slow, just making sure that conscious connection down to my glute and my knee is opening and I'm activating that glute. Once I'm comfortable with that, you can take it even more into a single leg where I come down with that chest, leg back and back up. So again, my knee's gonna stay open, pressing into the band the whole time as I come down, not letting this internal rotation or knee valgus come in. Keep that open, stand back tall. Try those out for you guys. I have some rep counts in the comments. Like, share and save. Thank you guys.